It's Lynn Smythe from the Creative Cottage. Thank you for taking the time today to stop by my YouTube channel. How are you all doing today? I hope you're having a great day or afternoon or night whenever you happen to be watching this video. Uh, today's video shouldn't be too long. I'm going to do kind of two unboxings. One is this is a lot of uh, four pieces that I got in an online auction. And then I went to a local thrift store yesterday and picked up a couple of pieces. So the first thing I'm going to do is this box. It's a lot of four Jacqueline Smith costume jewelry. Um, new in box. And I'm older than dirt, so I know who Jacqueline Smith is. Um, she's one of the original Charlie's Angels from the TV show Charlie's Angels, not the movie <laughs> from a couple years ago with Drew Barrymore and everyone. Uh, I like these uh, little lots. They come in these boxes, which is really nice. And whoops, what the heck was that? Oh, it's a little packing material. <laughs> and they all have uh, these labels on them. Looks like, oh, looks like they originally sold at Kmart. Are Kmart's even in around anymore? I know all the Kmart's in South Florida finally, the last one closed in my area about a year or so ago. So Kmart has not been around um, in a while. So brand new, these sets were $12.99 each. Um, probably what I'm gonna list them for online, $12.99, and I would probably take $10 per lot. And so you see Jacqueline Smith. So this is a really cool pin. It's uh, all different shades of purple, lavender, fuchsia, rhinestones, wonderful sparkly, and this antique gold tone metal. And although they're all new in box, I don't think these pieces are stamped. I don't think Jacqueline Smith brand of jewelry they stamped them or put any maker's marks on them. So I didn't even know Jacqueline Smith made jewelry. I think I knew she made clothing because I think years ago I remember seeing her clothing in the stores but I don't know how long how old these pieces are you know if they're from Kmart like I said Kmart as far as I know have all closed so this could just be um what do they call it? Like new old stock. But I like how it comes in this little sort of like gift box. Or you can just store it in the box when you're not wearing it. And let's see. Oh, this one is a set. Little antique gold tone pendant. And a filigree metal with loads of rhinestones on the chain. I'm not sure if these earrings look like they're magnetic. Let me see if I can pull this out of the box. And again, stamped Kmart, $12.99. Nope, those are postbacks. Okay, I, I came upon a pair of earrings like this in a recent bundle that were magnetic instead of, but these are the posts. And I'm not going to take this off of here to get you a length. I'm going to guess it's around 18 inches. Since these are new, new in box, I'm going to leave them in the box so I can sell them new in box. <laughs> and I don't know how much of her jewelry is available. I have never come across it before. Like I said, this was either, I oh, can't remember if this was shop. Goodwill.com or GoodwillFinds.com. I think it was ShopGoodwill.com because I think I bid on an auction. GoodwillFinds.com has prices listed, so you could, you got enough money, you can buy it now on that site. Oop, some more. Yep, here's the label. Kmart. I guess I could look it up even. The department, all kinds of. Um, Skews and everything. $12.99. This is a beautiful set. $12.99? Heck yeah. Uh, 
dark purple stones surrounded by loads of rhinestones. And we've got their little teardrop shape. We've got a pendant on the antique chain, almost looks like gunmetal. And a matching pair of pierced earrings on little French hooks. Let's see if I can take this one out of the box. Yep. So again, this is probably like an 18 inch chain. Okay. And the last bundle in this lot of Jacqueline Smith's jewelry. Again, here's the tag, Kmart, $12.99 is this wonderful pin silver tone with loads of kind of garnet is it purple i was gonna say garnet right now i think it's purple and crystal rhinestones just loads and loads look how sparkly that is beautiful here's what it looks like on the back oh this is a brooch because you it's got this little loop so if you didn't want to wear it as a pin you could put a chain through here and wear this as a necklace so that gives you more options yeah again i don't see any kind of maker's mark but it's all new in box jacqueline smith jewelry so i'll probably list that on my etsy no ebay store and here's my housekeeping if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please consider clicking this button and subscribing. That way I know people are actually watching these videos and I'll continue to make content for you. There's also this notification bell. If you click that, you'll get a notification from YouTube anytime I have new content to watch. And if you see anything in my videos and it's not listed on my eBay store, you can always reach out to me, sales at thecreativecottage.net. Let me know what video you're watching, the timestamp, and a brief description. I try to keep notes pinned to the top of my YouTube videos to let you know if um, a bundle or a certain piece is sold or not. But, um, you know, I'm sure if you have fallen through the cracks. <laughs> so, that's housekeeping. And then I'm going to do this little bundle. It's 15 pieces. So, um, I'm currently living in a one bedroom um, bathroom apartment in South Florida on the second floor. And I've been saying for a couple of years now, I would like to relocate to the Carolinas. I've got friends and family there. Um, a lot of family near Aiken, South Carolina. Um, but I'm thinking of maybe Greenville, South Carolina, Travelers Rest, South Carolina, or even Waynesville, North Carolina. Um, well, there are a couple of the areas I'm looking into. Anyhow, um, when I make the move, my furniture is not antique. It's not worth anything. They're not family heirlooms. It's mostly either stuff from big lots or at thrift stores or free stuff that my friends have um, kept an eye out for me. So I don't think it's worth it to pay a moving company to move that type of furniture. I'll just get new furniture wherever I end up. So um, I went to this junk removal company on Saturday and they have a thrift store. So what they do is they try to sell as many as your items as they can. So say they give you a price of, it's going to be $2,500 to get everything out of your three bedroom, two bath home. This is just, I'm just throwing out numbers. These aren't actual prices. Um, you know, we'll go through and say, oh, we think we could give you a $5 score credit for that lamp and $10 for that side table. So they're trying to get your um, junk removal cost down, not necessarily all the way down to zero, but if they can sell it, they will. Unfortunately, it's a mother and daughter run company. They don't do, um, they only do ground floor dwellings. So I'm SOL <laughs> when it comes to my second floor apartment. Oh well. I'll figure it out. Um, so I saw on their Facebook page. Yeah, I always follow their Facebook page because I'm always looking for small pieces of furniture for myself or for friends. And I'm, they always list, I think once a week, they update with the, what's currently in stock. And the last couple updates, I've seen just like a 
jewelry display case or two with costume jewelry. And I thought, well, maybe I should just drive by and A, I can say hello and ask them if they could help me move my stuff from my second floor apartment. The answer for that was no. I was like, well, now that I'm here, let me look at your costume jewelry. And they actually had quite a lot of costume jewelry, even more than what they were showing on their Facebook page. They had a few pieces of sterling. So I, I took some time and went through all their cases and um, picked out 15 pieces yesterday. Oh, I need to get my ring band row. So we'll just go through all this real quickly. They said the jewelry is not their main focus, so um, it's just kind of hit or miss, but I think I might try stopping by their store like once a month or twice a month and just see what's what. <laughs> so this is a fun ring. It's just a big uh, acrylic faceted stone, uh, kind of medium gray color, silver tone ring shank. This is coming in about size seven and three quarters. I thought that was fun. And then they had one same style or similar style, but in a kind of forest green faceted stone with a gold tone metal shank. Uh, yeah, oh, maker's marks. And yeah, let me get you a size on this one. Coming in about size eight. Ooh, that one's a little bit big. <laughs> and this heart I didn't originally plan on getting. Um, but they were having a sale. I think certain items were three for ten dollars and others were three for five dollars. So this 15 piece lot, including sales tax, came out to just below fifty dollars. But when they were totaling everything up to get the three for ten or three for five, or was it two for five? I don't remember. <laughs> um they were like, oh you can pick out one more. So um I got this heart. It's just silver tone, kind of filigree metal, kind of cut out or etched. Looks sort of sterling. I don't believe it is. I don't see any maker's marks. It didn't come with a chain, but I've got all kinds of spare silver chains from my various jewelry lots. So I'm going to pick one out to go with this heart pendant. It's kind of cool because it's puffy. It's kind of like hollow, but it's 3D, but lightweight. Okay, I don't know why I did it this way, just making a mess. Here, I'll do that since I don't have any necklaces in this bundle. It's easier to put them on this little display thing after I show them to you. Okay, <laughs> and I got this ring, just a uh, acrylic cabochon, but I really like the color, kind of a cranberry pink. On this antique gold tone metal. Here's what it looks like on the back. Ooh, glows. Uh, don't see any maker's mark. These could all use a cleaning because they, you know, they're. It's kind of like an estate sale without an estate sale. You know, they're removing the contents of the household and then trying to sell it. So all this stuff could use a good cleanup. This one's about. Ooh, this was a big one. Nine and three quarters. If I can fit that on my thumb, I can. Ooh, I gotta redo my nails. This nail polish is getting a little chippy. Apologies. Yeah, that's fun. Do, do, do. Put that there. Weebles, wobble. What else? Do, 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 do. I got this. I think this is, um, I don't know. If it's, yeah, I think it's real copper. Sometimes they use like aluminum and then put like a copper wash, but this feels heavier than aluminum. Kind of this little cutout pattern. 
And let's see. Let me see. Oh, wait, I see something. Let me get my loopy out. Ooh. I don't know. Problem with some of these vintage pieces is the maker marks, especially on rings, get worn off. Uh, could be a stamp that says copper, but I can't tell. I'll have to look at it a little more closely after I finish this video. Yeah, I don't know what it's trying to say. And this one's coming in. Come on, let's focus. Got seven, size seven. Nice. What's next? I got these earrings. At first, they kind of look like sterling, but I didn't think they were sterling. I'll have to take a closer look or maybe test them. Just little black beads and these little silver tubes and silver ball on um, post backs. And they don't have the earring backs, but I've got some somewhere. I bought from um, Rings and Things, one of my jewelry suppliers. I've got just a bag of the post backs for, you know, to replace any that are missing or the, any that are super dirty. Oh, here's what I, I like this one. The it looks like it's handmade, wire wrapped, gold tone metal, very nicely made, and just a big um, kind of smoky quartz looking glass stone. I thought that was cool. And that's coming in about a size six which is too tiny for my ring finger and too big for my pinky finger. <laughs> that, that's nice. And got this, kind of like a flower, gold tone flower, aqua colored rhinestones, little faux pearl on the gold tone metal. And this one's adjustable. So, kind of one size fits most. And don't see any makers marked. It's fun. Let's see if I can make it bigger to go on my ring finger. Do, do, do. I know a couple of these had makers marks when I was looking at them the other day. Anything on this one, do I? It might loop. I don't think so. I thought this is a nice ring, kind of satin gold tone. It's got this little etched pattern and this little clump of rhinestones. It's interesting. Good condition. Get you a size on that. Uh, about six and a half. Man, my camera just does not want to focus today. It's having a hissy fit. Let's see. What's next? So this is my last ring from this group. Look at that. I just thought that was fun. This multicolored rhinestones kind of like the rainbow and silver tone band and looking for let me get my loop out no oh, i'm hallucinating <laughs> no maker's mark this one's coming in about nine and a quarter. Sparkly. Okay. 
Yeah, let me do the pins. So I saw this rhinestone pin, kind of a classic design, a little circle with loads of rhinestones. Here's what it looks like on the back. Cute. Put that there. So I've been exploring um, alternate places to get the costume jewelry when I first I've only been doing this for about a month and a half or so. When I first started out, I was only kind of bidding for online auctions, which is fine. You can find a lot of stuff if you're careful and stick to a budget. You can get things at reasonable price. But what's killing me is the shipping, um, especially like I just won this 20 pound lot of jewelry. Can't wait to go through it. Might take multiple videos to get through it. Shipping was quite a bit because 20 pounds. Um, I still think this is worth it for that one. But some of these bundles, by the time you add shipping and handling and tax and everything, it's like, man, am I going to, you know, be able to make any money back? <laughs> I, mean, I do have a full-time day job, so this is like a side hustle, but I would like it to become something more. You know, right now I'm selling on a part-time basis, but... I'm going to be turning 60 later this year, so I'm kind of looking for what's the next part of my life going to look like. You know, I'm not ready to retire, obviously, but at some point I'm going to retire, and I just don't think I'll be able to live on just Social Security income. I don't think anybody can live on Social Security income. I don't know how you do it. Um, so I'm just investigating a couple of different options, and this is one of them, is reselling custom jewelry. So I'm also always looking for affordable options. And I know if you go in person to like state sales, flea markets, thrift stores, um, you don't have to pay the shipping and handling. Unfortunately, a lot of the thrift stores are starting to realize that there's value in some of this jewelry. Like, you know, first they're testing to see, oh, is this gold or sterling? But now they're realizing there's value in just the, what they used to think is just junk jewelry, this costume jewelry depending on the age and who makes it, et cetera, there can be some value in it. And um, most of the stores, at least thrift stores, at least in my area, many of them no longer have the jewelry in the stores. Like the Goodwills have all pulled the jewelry out of most of the stores and you can only find it in these online auctions or these online mystery boxes. And like I said, some of the prices are getting crazy and the shipping and handling can make the items cost prohibitive so i just guess i have to be brave and get out there and um you know <laughs> start finding alternative methods for finding the jewelry and let's see i've got just a couple more pieces to go i thought this piece was amazing when i saw it gold tone multicolor stones kind of like um Amethyst color, topaz color, sapphire, sapphire color. Here's what it looks like on the back. And does this one have a maker's mark? I thought, hang on a minute. I'm hallucinating again. Oh, yes. It has a PC. Let me see. It's underneath the pin. right here it's like a PC kind of overlapping no. how do you do that when you focus on it I don't know <laughs> trust me it's PC so who is PC if you know who PC is shout it out in the comment section it was so obvious. How does she not know? <laughs> We've only been doing this for about a month or so. So, I'm learning. I'm learning. We'll always be a student. These are cool. Look. Bling bling. I mean, come on. They are clip-on. So, I think that means they're a little bit on the more retro or even vintage side. I think those are amazing. 
be really fun to wear for a wedding or a night out on the town or a special event. And they got the little fringe on the bottom. Really great condition. That's another thing about shopping um, in person versus online. You know, all the online auctions say you're buying stuff as is and that may be missing rhinestones. And that's hard to tell from the pictures the actual condition of each individual piece. Especially in a lot, a 20-pound lot. I mean, they had like six or seven pictures, but it only showed a fraction of what's in here. Um, so buyer beware. <laughs> but when you buy stuff um, in person, you, it, if it's possible, you can take your time and, you know, bring your jeweler's loop with you, bring a little light or whatever, um, and make sure all the rhinestones are there. Make sure if it's enamel, it's not chipped. Make sure if it's silver or gold tone metal that it's not worn away to show the copper or base metal underneath. Mm. And then last thing I have is this two-piece set this pin and the earrings thought this was real cute i think that's um lucite it's kind of this rosy pinky um color really nice rose got some rhinestones there it's got some enamel flowers more rhinestones on the stem here's what it looks like on the back there is a maker's mark KJL. Again, I don't know who that is. You know, I have to research all this one before I list this online. A lot of times you can do the Google Lens and it'll pop up who it is. So I got the pin. And then I got the earrings, and the earrings are missing the, their post earrings, they're missing the little post backs, but I've got a package of the new ones, so I can just replace those. There's the maker's mark, and here's what they look like. Come on, let's focus. Kind of, kind of like little rosebuds, and the rhinestones, and the enamel leaves, and more rhinestones. I just thought that was really nice. Looks very vintage to me. So, oops. I'm having a jewelry avalanche over here. Okie dokie. So, again, that's, uh, I showed you the Jacqueline Smith bundle of costume jewelry. And then this was my little haul yesterday of the junk removal company that has a thrift store and they actually had some jewelry for sale so you never know where you're going to find jewelry for sale always ask always inquire always investigate <laughs> so this is lynn smith from the creative cottage thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye